So how long does it take to send 46 Winlink messages? Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Now before we answer exactly how long it took, let me explain how we got here. I put out a video last week before field day asking all of you to participate in the field day challenge, which asked you to post a Winlink position report and put ACK FD challenge in the comments of that position report. And I knew that I wanted to respond to every single person that participated in the challenge this year. So I ended up writing a script to give me a little bit of help before field day rolled around. So as you can see, I had people from all over the United States participating in this challenge. And in fact, several more that were outside of the United States, but that's all I've got downloaded in Yak that I can place on the map. Now let's take a quick look at how I composed all 46 messages as easy as I possibly could. Inside of Pat Menu, I clicked on Pat Catalog and then Position Reports. And I have a new little button down here that I'm working on now. I've almost got this script perfected. Uh, there were a few little glitches in it that I had to correct uh, during field day, but for the most part, this worked fairly well. And this is a new feature that I will be pushing out to Pat Menu in the future. But I simply clicked on Search Positions and it asked me to locate the list that I wanted to search. Now this list, just so you can see that, is right here in my Pat menu inbox, or Pat inbox. So this is the entire list here. So I choose the list that I want to use for the search right here, and then just click OK. It's gonna ask me for what keywords do I want to search for. In this case, ACK FD challenge is what I want to take a look at. I, those are the only stations that I want to see in this list. Once I've got my keywords put in here, I just simply click OK. It'll take it a couple of seconds to search the file for those keywords, but then it comes up with this box right here. Now, if you click export the results, you can actually take those exported results. It will do so as a POS file, and then you can import them into Yak. That's how I got all of these stations on the list. So you can see that this is uh, KF0NWQ, and he put the ACKFD challenge in his comments, so it pulled it in during that search. Now, in addition to that, if I don't want to export the results, I can click Compose an Email and you will get this box right here. So I'm going to select every single one of these excluding myself because I actually participated in my own challenge, but we don't want to send an email to myself. Scroll down to the very bottom and we can just click uh, the last one by holding the shift key. That'll get everything in the middle. So that has selected every single one of those emails or of those stations rather. Next up, we click compose an email and we will get this box here. So I get sent a very, very simple email which looked exactly like this. I wanted to keep this as short and concise as possible to speed the send time as much as I possibly could. So it was just thank you in the subject and then three lines here in the body. Now, I wrote this script to do it two different ways. If I just click post emails, it will send one email to each recipient. The other way that I can do it is I can put a check mark right here and it would only create one email and CC everyone on that email. Now, obviously this would be a faster way to do it, but I had some time to play around at field day and wanted to know exactly how long it would take to send those 46 emails. Once I had all of those emails in the outbox, I went ahead and chose Vara FM to send those messages, trying to give myself as much of an advantage as I possibly could. I knew that was going to be the absolute fastest path without using the internet. Once I was ready, Mike hit the stopwatch and I clicked connect. 15 minutes and two seconds later, all of the emails had been sent. 
So now you know how long it takes to send 46 Winlink messages. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.